This one is a big one. Who has turned a member search result page into its own static page with its own content on it? VJ, let me unmute your microphone here. Um, VJ, how are you doing today? Hi, Jason. How are you? Good. So actually, this would be very good for you to share the optimized SEO for member search results pages, because now you can actually choose a specific sidebar that you'd like for that page you've turned into a static page, and you can move the custom content around without editing any widgets. Which yeah, you I just actually had a play with that this morning. I noticed where you can put the description before it was in the read more part. Now it's at the top bottom and all that kind of thing. Exactly. Um, so it's good to, to hear that you're doing that on your site. And um, once you've got that all sorted out, we'd love to see how you're taking advantage of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show everyone what I'm referring uh, to here. And it's a little more advanced, but it's good that we cover these kinds of things uh, in Webinar Wednesday. So let me just go to a search results page really quick. And this is just a, a site we play around with for the webinars here. Um, so let's actually go to uh, here, Stacy Hartwell. Okay, great. She has some breadcrumbs up here. So this would be a search results page for United States, um, New York. And what you can do is what you see here is there's content up here that I've added. It says this is awesome content about New York. So all these pages are dynamically created for you. But if you're a marketer or if you're looking to add a little more SEO value to a specific uh, member search results page, maybe you're doing marketing campaigns, uh, for a specific region or a category on your site, uh, this will definitely, definitely come in handy, especially a lot of people have asked for geo-targeted ads. Um, this will definitely be a way to accomplish that as well. Um, so let me show you guys how I added uh, this content up here. And what I'll do is let's actually use another page. Instead of United States, uh, New York, let's do uh, Los Angeles, actually. All right, so we have this person here in Los Angeles. Uh, we don't see any specialized content here. So if we wanted to add some special SEO content to this page, the first thing you wanna do is copy the pretty URL here for Los Angeles. Next thing you wanna do is when you're logged in as the admin of the site, you get this nifty admin bar, click on create static page. Basically takes us to the blank web page uh, uh, builder here. Paste your URL here for Los Angeles, and this is the most important thing. Under page type, you guys will just have two options here, but you want to switch it from single web page to member search results, and we'll even give it a nickname called Los Angeles Members. So what you can do here is you can actually type in content, uh, SEO content, to give a little more weight and value to this page because it has more than just the member listing. So say this is amazing content about Los Angeles. Um, I can even add an image into here. So let's add an image into here. I think this is a New York skyline, but uh, we'll just push this to the right. All right, and let's just save the changes here. Great, so we have this page here, and here, let's just view the page without making any changes to anything else. So what we have is a full page width now, uh, there's no sidebar, and we have this tab that says Read More. And actually, this Read More is showing this image and this content here. But what's really amazing now is until now, you were stuck with the sidebar that all the rest of your listing search results have when you turn it into a static page. What you can do now, and what VJ is probably going to take advantage of, um, you can actually, under the display settings here, under show sidebar, you can actually decide to show a different sidebar for this page. So you might create a sidebar just for California or just for Los Angeles that has um, ads related to California or Los Angeles, or it might be category specific, like doctors or lawyers, or however granular you want to get with this, you can create sidebars that have the widgets uh, or the banner ads just for that particular area. In this case, let's just put the lead page sidebar just so it's something different. And also we can choose the orientation if we want the sidebar on the left or the right of the content. Now, uh, over here for custom HTML placement, so this code that I've added here uh, just happens to be inside that read more tab over here. Uh, so you don't really see it and that's how it's been set up so far. 
With this amazing tool, now you can actually place content above the member search results or below, or above the body content, which would mean above the sidebar and the member search results. So you can really get a full width view of that. And let's actually do that together, the above body content and save the changes. All right, let's refresh the page here. We should have a sidebar on the right. And we have, this is amazing content about Los Angeles. Now I want to nerd out just a little bit and I want to take too much more time on this, but this is super valuable for people that want to create landing pages for specific cities and specific categories. So you got your sidebar covered there. Let me show you guys something super cool that you can do. And again, this is a little higher level for developers and designers out there. The stuff I did right now is just, uh, you know, adding content. Anybody can do this. But let me really show you the power of this tool here. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little CSS here. Again, this is a little higher level here, uh, but I think it'll be super valuable. So th the top content here has its own div. It's called page content above body. And because this is its own page, if we scroll down, we can have custom CSS um, on this page. So I'm just going to go to my home page real quick. And I want to copy the uh, CSS that's making this background image here. I think you guys can tell where uh, I'm about to go with this. And again, I'm just nerding out on some of the code here, but it's just because it's so cool that we can do this stuff. So let me grab this image, copy image location, and we're going to use this image as the background image. And what I'm going to do is I actually clear all this, and I want to center my content. Let's say, welcome to everything about Los Angeles. Now remember guys, this editor also supports placing widgets in it. So you might sometimes, instead of making out a whole web uh, page here using the editor, you might just pop in the short code for one of your widgets. Um, so let's do this. Let's increase the font size here to something pretty substantial. Let's make it bold. And I'm gonna make the font white. Uh, we're not gonna see it against this background, but because uh, you'll, you'll see why in a second here. All right, let's save the changes here. And let's view the page. And let's just inspect the code. There we go. So it's attempting to show this background image here. Let me just add some padding to it and we should be okay. There we go. So what you can do is, and again, I'm just doing this real quick. You could create a more better splash page here with your designer without really any custom uh, uh, widgets and things like that just by using CSS on this page here and you can even pop in stuff. So I know this looks really cool and again this was just to show you guys the designers and developers out there where you can go with this with regards to this feature on where you want the custom HTML placement as well as the sidebar that you want to use on the page. So this is just the beginning stages. I think we're going to see some developers do some really cool uh, stuff with this uh, feature here. All right, let's hey, move Jason. on. Yeah. Just real quick, wanted to compare it to the default, how it previously was. Emily was kind enough to share a page on her site. It's selectbraces.com forward slash United States forward slash Ohio. So Emily has made, gotcha, a page on her site. Select braces. Let's cross our fingers that I typed everything right there. Perfect. Perfect. And if you click read more, she has that additional SEO content in there. Perfect. So it's great to see that Emily was already using this. Um, and it is helpful to have it in the read more tab because it creates a nice compact uh, kind of area just for some additional content for you to put whatever you want about this search results page. Uh, but now if you want it outside or above or below, it gives a little more flexibility and freedom there. Um, so thank you, Emily, for showing that. It's nice. I, I know a lot of people are using this feature. A lot of people don't know about it. So this is a great way to get the word out about it as well. All right. Great share there, Emily. And your site's looking great as well.